So guys, um, we're here at MrBestTech.com again. Um, I'm Mr. Best Tech, obviously. Um, I'm here at Aim um, uh <laughs> Roger Aston Griffith and Ian McInerney. Nice to meet you guys. Nice Hi to there, meet you. Not Hi too guys. bad. Not too bad. Um, right, so first question really. Um, what is it about Game of Thrones that you think is so engaging for people at the moment? What, what captures people? Ooh, it's so a variety. Should I do some theology? Uh, I'll do yeah, 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 yeah. You, you go. <laughs> um, in semiology, the study of, of um, symbols, mm -hmm. uh, the argument goes that it takes two people to make a meaningful symbol. It's the person who creates the symbol and the person who perceives the symbol. And mm -hmm. these two have to work together. Now, of course, every filmmaker makes something. Every film watcher sees something. But somehow, in this case, the symbol, what we make, seems to have become bigger in the eye of the people who watch it. I don't think it's anything we've done in particular. It's just it's a combination of events. But it, it, it's about the semiology of the series. It creates a bigger world for people than perhaps have encountered elsewhere. And from a practical point of view, I would have to say that uh, the storylines, the world that has been created, the talent that's on screen, the talent that's off screen, creating the world of Westeros, the yeah. attention to detail, the production values, and quite frankly, the genius of the storytelling. Uh, it gets better and better every season. Mm -hmm. The viewer gets more and more engaged, as you yeah. have said, Roger. And it has created, I mean, it has created a bar for what I believe is the golden age of television that we're beginning to enter, and it really has created a benchmark that mm -hmm. everybody is trying frantically to scrabble towards. It is a stunning show, and I speak as a huge fan of the show. It is an absolutely stunning show. You get completely wrapped up, and you know, I, I need go no further than hold the door for the genius of the storytelling that cut people to ribbons. Exactly. Episode nine of season six is quite simply the best episode of television that I have ever seen. So you know, that's the reason why it's really that good. Mm -hmm. Well, people, I mean, in today's world, people seem to love to escape into other worlds. The great thing about Game of Thrones is you can escape into it and stay in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you meet people at, at conventions like this, they, they, they live that, that world's life mm -hmm. more richly than we do. You know, I mean, we've been in it and we've had, you know, we've done our time in it. But I mean, yeah. you meet people and their knowledge of it and their, their attention to the detail in it and their ability to kind of like, you know, just embrace the whole thing. That's, 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 that's the thing about people creating something bigger than we've created, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they, they, they've they really taken it and run with it, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah, so it kind of just kind of sucks you in. Oh, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, let me see. Uh, Roger, actually, yeah, what were some of your favourite memories of working on um, Torchwood and Doctor Who? Oh, um, I have to say both of those appearances were relatively brief and involved, I think, in each case, one day's work. Um, Torchwood was long enough ago that I can scarcely remember to be to us. Uh, however, there was a bit I had to spit in the face of the Sheriff of Nottingham, who was um, Miller, what's his name? Johnny Lee Miller. Hmm? Right. Is it Johnny Lee Miller? No. Um, Armstrong and Miller. Armstrong, there, that Miller, yes. Um, yeah. ben, ben? Is it Ben Miller? Ben Miller. Yeah. I had to spit in space. Yeah. So, water. No, too much water. Okay. A little less water. Not enough. Too much water, <laughs> less water. I said, look, honestly, if I have less water, what I spit at men will be spit. And he went, oh, just do uh, it. So I did, I spat it in there. <laughs> I, there must have been backlighting the water. So it's always a nice, it's nice when you get an opportunity to spit at a perfectly nice and decent <laughs> individual. <laughs> too, <isn't it? laughs> Um, that's how you practice that way. Right? Oh, we can do it now. Yeah. We can do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, let's do it. Okay, Mark, come Pass. around. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. No. <laughs> no, you <laughs> That'll go viral pretty quickly. And <laughs> um, so this is kind of for all of you again, really. Um, George R. R. Martin is kind of notorious for killing off characters in both the books and in the TV show as well. Um, so. Uh, uh, it, so if if your characters hadn't kind of gone that way or were heading that way and you were to play a different character on the show, who would you play? Again, it's very difficult for, for me to say that because when you see the actor in the role, mm. you find it very difficult to imagine anybody else in that role. Mm. Uh, so I was just 
extraordinarily fortunate to get Merrim. I'm delighted. If I changed anything about Merrim's trajectory, instead of dying in episode 10, season 5, I would have elected uh, episode 5, season 8. But unfortunately, that was not to be. So I wouldn't choose another character. I was very happy with the one I got. I read the books. And uh, in the books, I mean, it's very hard not to fall in love with Tyrion uh, inevitably, and certain other characters, you know. Mm -hmm. And one that I always always was fascinated by and still am is Arya. Oh yeah. And uh, I'm I'm fascinated to know where exactly her journey is going to end now mm -hmm. because she is she's gone up, to the dark side. She's kind of ended up compromising herself. She's you know? gone so, to the dark side. So it'll be very please. interesting to see if, in fact, you know, she's beyond redemption or if, in some strange sort of way, she can sort of like work her way back from that. So that's a, that's a fascinating journey to watch. Mm. I'd like to direct the show. Oh, I so in yeah. fact, after I died, I said to David and Dan, how about you have me back next year to direct a couple of episodes? And David, I think, said, well, if you don't ask, you don't get, do you? I said, that's right. He said, no. I was just about to say, well, I'm looking forward to that. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I directed a little, but not enough they're going to trust me with that. But, but that's what I would like to do. Actually. Funny, I actually said to David and Dan just after I died that perhaps Marin could have a twin brother. Reggie. <laughs> Reggie trying to only beat up old women. But no, that was an on star. Makes it a well. bit more sci-fi. Kind of came from an alternate yeah. timeline, alternate... You know, Dark Westeros. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> no, it was no two. <laughs> uh, so speaking in a similar vein then um, of different characters, again, for either of you, if you were to play, if you were to play Daenerys Targaryen, which one of you would have been brave enough to play the walking out of the fire scene? Oh, I'd have done that. <laughs> I'd, uh, I did a lot more bloody dangerous stunts in Game of Thrones than that. Let me tell you, so yeah, I'd no. walked into fire. I'd have done you that. Know, yeah. I have. I, I did a film where I walked into a burning house. I don't say, I'm not doing that, you're kidding. But then they show action and something takes over and you do it. Yeah, um, you, you, something you does take be, in a lot of I cases mean, something takes over. You do have to have a certain do. mental yeah. imbalance to be an actor in the first place. Let's let's not yeah. be under any illusions here. You have to be and, daft. And, and you also have to trust, you know, and in the main you can't. The SFX boys that they're, 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 they're they, they know what they're doing yeah. and they they, really they've do. prepped you properly, which they have, and they've walked you through all the elements so that as much as can be the case, you feel no matter how dangerous or dramatic it looks, I'm in You're a relatively safe, safe environment. Yeah. You know. yeah. Excellent. All right. Brilliant answer. Okay, well, that's uh, that's all we have time for, really. Um, it's Mr. Vestek here from MrVestek.com, guys. Um, it's been an absolute Thanks very pleasure. much. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you again. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank no you. Problem.